All right, so if you're a fighter, if you're a coach, here are some great burnout tools to use. Get your fighter in great shape uh, for his upcoming fight, or if you're a fighter and you're on your own, plenty of these drills you can do just by yourself. It's a nice little cardio burnout to get you on track and in a good pace. All right, so I just wanted to go over some fighter cardio that I do. This is gonna be more kickboxing based cardio, um, but I like to do this at the end of every pad holding session. Our pad holding session is usually around 30 minutes, um, and it's mainly focused on technique and things like that. And then at the end of every pad holding session, we do a little cardio burnout, and I like to vary that up a little bit. And so I'll just demo some of that. And again, this is more kickboxing Muay Thai based. I have an MMA version um, that I'll share with you in the future. The first drill is gonna be Stevie just going double jabs. I do this both from his original stance and his opposite stance, and he's gonna do this nonstop. The rhythm for this should be pause, pause, pause. So you'll see what we're talking about right here. One more. I have him do this both in his original stance and his opposite stance. And you know, depending on where we're at in the camp, where he and I are in our like relationship as coach athlete, I've done this with Stevie a bunch. So I know his shoulders are pretty built up just over years of kind of doing it. So I'm probably gonna start him at a high number, like 60. And by the end of camp, we'll probably get to like 80, something like that. If I'm working with someone for the first time and kind of reading their body language and they're getting kind of weak and their jabs are falling apart, I might start them off at 40 or 50 and we'll probably finish around 60 or something like that. So that's one of the drills right there. All right, another one of these cardio versions that I do at the end of these pad holding sessions is just gonna be consistent pyramid round kicks. So we will start with five and we kind of work our way up to 20. And just like I was talking about on the double jab, that's just based on person to person. Again, I work with Stevie a bunch. He's got his fifth fight coming up. Me and him have been doing this for quite some time. I can start him at a higher number than I would start somebody that I'm first working with or somebody who's a debut. So he goes five kicks on one side, five kicks on the other side, and then we build up five kicks each time following that same pattern. So, all right, so uh, the other two cardio version, one was kind of boxing, one was kind of focused on kicking. And this one, we're gonna kind of tie the two together. Both, both the boxing and the kicking are gonna be done here on the back. And usually I'll cater this combination with something that Stevie is working towards in a fight, something he is good at, anything like that. And he's gonna do this as a burnout for a three minute round. So I want him to hit this combination as fast and as hard as he can, try to maintain that for as long as he can for the, the round of, uh, of three minutes right here. So he's gonna start three low, jab cross hook with a low kick. And again, I just want max effort, uh, max pace on this. When I'm using this resistance band, I'm offering a little resistance, but I don't want it so much where he's really burning it out. This should be like 20% resistance, just a little extra push to get his hips firing a little harder so that when he's in that fight, he's sparring, his hips feel a little more free, his combinations can flow a little more free. So here's gonna go three low. Two more. One more. Nice, very good. All right, I really like this last one for clinching knees. This is great for a Muay Thai and kickboxing. Even in kickboxing, they're gonna get you, let you get in that clinch a little bit and land some knees. And just from a cardio perspective, you're using your arms to pull to get used to that clinch and you're also firing the knees. So I just really like that as a burnout. We have them do these knees. Again, same thing. It's just gonna depend on where I'm at with the athlete, the amount of knees that I'm gonna have them throw. And then once they're done and tired, then I have them explode into some flying knees. So we're gonna demo some of that right now. We'll start with the clinching knees. Last one. Then he'll break away and go into the flying knee. So again, have him burn out, using his muscles, having to pull, having to generate power from the knee, and then just sheer explosiveness on his own, firing up into that flying knee. So I love that as a cardio burnout at the end of pads as well.